Hello and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, we are in the middle of a ser short series of non-Japanese beers and what we're looking at is a series of export lagers uh, from uh, Germany, uh, Austria and the Czech Republic and we're going to look at five different beers and these are beers that are, are uh, made in large quantities and are uh, exported around the world and uh, in the last one we looked at uh, Bitburger and today's beer is Radeburger Pilsner and they are part of the Radeburger group and uh, <clears throat> and as they say very clearly on here this is uh, the export brewery and kind of interesting you know, German these German lager beers tend to have very sort of traditional looking labels uh, gold medals and uh, escutcheon and that sort of thing so very sort of traditional sort of look to them um, and this is a pilsner and it's a 4.8 percent pilsner and on their website they list the bittering units at 33 which is uh, pretty high the bit burger we looked at was 30 and that was quite bitter for a pilsner and uh, this of course is all malt uh, it's uh, simply barley malt and hops and on uh, rate beer, this one has uh, 1,569 ratings, 1,569, an average score of 2.81, and a percentile score of 16 for all beers and 40 for its style, which is uh, Pilsner. On untapped, it's got a total of 103,231 ratings, and the average is a little bit higher. 3.18 untapped ratings to generally tend to be quite higher. Uh, this brewery started in 1872. Uh, they have two main beers that they produce, a Pils, this one, and a Zwickel beer. And that's about it. So uh, this is the one you will probably see, Radeberger Pilsner. Okay, let's give this one a go. I have had this before, but it's been a long time. Okay, it is a completely crystal clear, uh, sort of medium straw color, uh, similar to the last beer we looked at, the Bitburger, um, with a uh, almost a finger of clean white foam. And put it through the light and see what we get here. So it's just a little carbonation off the side of the glass. Head is diminishing very quickly, as you can see. Okay, it does have a very grassy nose. <clears throat> Again, noble, noble hops. Detecting something like, like Zotz in this as well. Quite malty as well. This is very clean, very grassy, kind of gives it a little, little bite uh, of hops in the, right away. And the hops really come in in, uh, in mid-palate, almost a kind of metallic sort of shot uh, on the tongue. Uh, and the finish is... mild and there are some bitter tracks here so this is a uh, somewhat similar to the Bitburger uh, I think I like this a bit more uh, it seems a little bit maltier um, and the hops are uh, seem to be much more uh, effective definitely uh, but they are very very similar beers uh, thin medium body um, this is very solid as a basic pills um, find any fault with this here. This is a very drinkable beer um, uh, and 
you know, as you know, of course, craft, uh, or perhaps you don't, uh, craft beer brewers are, uh, have been in the process of rediscovering basic styles, uh, whereas craft beer was a kind of reaction to the dull lager beers produced by major industrial brewers. Uh, many, many breweries are going back to rediscover what a good solid uh, Pilsner or lager is, and uh, some of them are doing a very good job. But it's kind of hard to uh, top, you know, things like this. Uh, you know, they have the experience and they make it very, very, very well. So, hmm. solid, tasty, probably not as fresh, of course, as it would be uh, in its home country. Definitely. Okay, well, that's it for uh, today. Um, Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to look at another uh, another uh, export logger from Germany in our next video. I hope you're around for that. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>